Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Airsoft Allen. That's a piece of what I don't give a fuck. Uh, so, as you may have seen the video prior, I got a package in from New York. Now, I didn't say it on the live stream because I really wasn't looking at this, but this came in from New York, New York. I'm hoping not the city because, as we all know, New York's kind of being a uh, yeah when it comes to Airsoft. So, with that said, uh, I was able to get this loosened because I found a trick. If you don't have any, if you don't have the tool, and you don't have a pair of needle nose pliers, grab something that will fit within the plugs, grab them tight as can be, and start twisting. And I'm going to go ahead and undo this. Oh, there it goes. It goes shooting out. Whee! Uh, that's actually a really nice nozzle, I'm not going to lie. This, I'm not so happy about. Ooh, that's a lot of air escape right there, so I'm probably going to put a lot of, uh, probably going to put some plumbing tape around that. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this, and voila. I might have a rod. I might have lesser FPS spring, because when the guy sent this to me, he said he wanted me to lower the FPS, so no, that's just floppy and wobbly and... <laughs> yeah, but for real, that's just... Actually got some oomph behind it, but, uh... Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, but yeah, for real, this is actually about the same diameter as this. And no, not really. This is actually bigger bore diameter. Uh, this one is a little bit more tight. So what he wants me to do is basically cut down the coils. Now what I can do is... I'm going to cut down about four coils because I actually researched this. I can cut down four coils on this, and that's what's going to probably take to get to the FPS he wants me to give it. But this right here, I'm not happy with it. Like, I don't trust this right here. I have seen... Now, now I'm not saying I don't trust Crossman, even though I don't, even though I don't trust him as far as I can throw them, but uh, that's just me, of course. Uh, but for real, though, there is... Uh, a little bit of a concern I have with this plunger head and a little bit of this, so I'm going to probably uh, put a little bit better of an air seal around it to actually at least do that. But if he wants me to actually uh, lessen the FPS, I'm going to do that. But either way, uh, so that's how you actually disassemble your bolt, is you basically remove this right here, just let everything slide out, uh, let everything else slide out. Now I have another spring uh, right here. Now that spring was... Um, okay, that won't even fit. Never mind, this spring won't fit. Uh, okay, that, that won't work then. That, let's we'll throw this off to the side. Now, if I could actually get one of these springs in here to fit, I would, but it's too big in the bore diameter of the actual plunger tube, and I got a lot of springs in here, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Uh, sadly, I don't think I have one that will actually... Oh, that's just comically... No, that's just comically small. I don't think he wants that. Uh, but for real, guys, if you actually want me to uh, help either rebuild, because believe me when I say this is his gun over here. It is completely in pieces. I am going to be completely rebuilding this thing like new tomorrow. Oh, this is going to be fun. And I am happy that I was able to put all the screws and everything in a bag. I am very happy you did that. I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Uh... Also, with also to the guy who asked me to do a thing on the hop up, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'm afraid not because I will be trying to completely and utterly uh, rebuilding this gun, which is going to be fun task in of itself. But then again, I have rose to the challenge before. Uh, I am gonna probably replace the plastic right here with metal. I might. I'm not sure. Uh, it's just me, of course, uh, doing my thing of wanting to do better, but I think he'll want me to keep the plastic, the poly. Not even poly, good lord. That's that's ungodly flexible. That's, that's not supposed to be doing that. Uh, he'll probably want me to let him have his polymer rail. Uh, I do have another magazine. I think. I think I have another magazine. For those of you who are asking about the magazine, probably, uh, the magazine basically goes up in here, which would line up with the barrel here, and that's how you get your BBs in, but, uh, either way. So, yeah, I'm going to be working on this, and we're going to see how this all 
pans out. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next uh, jump cut. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, uh, had to make sure everything fits still. Had to make sure all this was good. Now, something I did, which was a good thing, uh, in case you don't have the tool that can take this off, which, by the way, I'm just going to go ahead, screw this back on there, and then I'm going to get the little trick that I did, which was, which granted me the ability to actually take it off. So we're going to pop one in here. Take anything that will actually fit in the hole, since we're screwing it the other way, we'll screw it this way and just do it like that. Now be careful because this will actually hurt you a tiny bit depending on how bare skinned you are. I know it hurts me a little bit because I'm just, I'm not, I don't have that thick a skin. I'm not going to lie. I have very, 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 very thin skin, but either way. So we are going to get this back in together. <laughs> did here was I actually cut four coils off. Now, if my math is correct, and don't don't hold me to this, people. Do not hold me to this. I am not a mathematician, but I did look around. I did ask around. I did all the usual stuff I do. And according to the math, apparently you can actually... Uh, okay, so let me pull the coil that I cut off here. Okay, so apparently cutting off two coils on a stock sniper, that brings it down to about roughly 480, 450 FPS, around the 400s. You cut it down to more coil, you cut it down one more coil, that brings it about to the high 300s. You cut it down to another coil, that brings it down to below 380s. So cutting four coils should bring you down to about 380 FPS, give or take, or at least below that. Now, don't hold me to that. That's math. I have looked all over the place. Believe me, I, I had to do my research on this because it's been a while since I've worked with something like this. So I had to do my research on this. So, put it off to the side. <laughs> Okay, so really I just have this together enough to where I can just do this. There we go. And Okay, so that's a little bit quieter, which means it does have lesser FPS, but I'm going to have to actually completely tighten down the screws or put screws in this to actually completely tighten it down. That way to actually see if the uh, uh, if the screws actually do uh, hold out. And do these screws go here? Nope, I'm guessing not. So that means one of the screws goes here. Or the, uh, good lord, it's been a long time, guys. It really has. So please forgive me for having a little bit of a hard memory remembering where screws go. So uh, let's see here. Here, yeah, these screws go here. All right, so I'm going to come back to you guys when I have this thing completely done uh, with all the screws in it, and uh, we will get to it, I promise. <clears throat> okay, so it's back together. 
Uh, I did have to replace some screws because the screws that were on there were just not cutting it. So you have some replacement screws now. Uh, now there is a bit of a thing that I'm going to have to fix. It's this right here. These two bags right here, they just, they just broke off the plastic. So I'm going to have to replace the screws that will actually dig into the plastic or... And this is a this is a or I can actually put a side mount on here, which a a side mount basically what it does is it screws into which you can see there's a ton of dead space in there. So what I can actually do is actually uh, put some screws in here for a side mount that actually goes up and over. That way it can do that. Which I have a lot of Picatinny rails. Like not even joking. I have. I have these Picatinny rails. I've got a ton of Picatinny rails. I, I've, I've just got a lot of stuff in here, so I can probably make a makeshift side mount, which is no problem. And even then, the parts box over here, as you can see, I have a ton of parts. And I bet you anything, I can probably take, and this is just a guess, mind you. Let's see here. Let's see. I wish I knew it was in here. Uh, what I could probably do is I could probably take the top of a G36, or, let's see here. Is it here? Here it is. or I can take this here. And actually, um... I can actually probably lop this off. And basically, uh... Yeah, I could probably do that. I could probably, um... Lop it off and put it on here, which would make it an, a hella ridiculous rifle-looking uh, thing, but no. Again, I could do that, but I won't. That's just an idea. I actually had pop up, but the guy wanted a... didn't want me to do anything to the body. He didn't want me to do it. He's paying 70 bucks for cutting down the spring. Now, I'm going to have to do a poor man's chrono. For those of you who don't know what a poor man's chrono is, a poor man's chrono is basically taking a soda can, and if it goes through the side, if it goes through one side and out the other side, uh, it's, it's around the 300 area. Uh, now, if it doesn't go through the center of the bottom of the can, that means it is below 400 FPS. And then, of course, I'm going to have to take a zero... Then I'm going to have to actually record... And this is something you can actually do. It's called the $0 chrono. I'm going to have to load this up 0.2s. Shoot by microphones. Yes, yeah, so this is a real deal. You basically take some microphones to some paper. You, you put it on the sides of a box. Then you uh, shoot through it. And then you take that sound. You basically do some movie bubbly math with it. And that gives you the precise uh, FPS you have. Look this all up. This is how I do it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a pain in the ass because it makes you use your brain. But uh, so worth it in the end. But yeah. So I'm going to take this outside, I'm going to do the poor man's chrono, but I am going to get the range out of this just to see uh, how it does. Because as you can hear, just listen, just listen, okay? That's actually pretty quiet. The sad part is that this mount is coming up. Uh, and of course, this pin right here wants to come out, but that's just how it's always been. Uh, so, I'm going to take this outside and do what I can with it. Uh, to the owner of the gun, I do recommend you either try and get some uh, epoxy putty, which is this nice little thing, or plumber's putty, and put into the grooves that were holding the screws down. That way you can actually uh, hold down the Picatinny rail a little bit better. <laughs> Uh, but either way, uh, so I'm gonna do some tests on this. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make sure it's shooting exactly under 350 FPS, so that way it's CQB friendly. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of how it's gonna be. Okay, so out of curiosity, four coils out of this are the spring shaved. What is the end result? Well, we have our chronograph, our brand new chronograph provided to us by our good friends at Firefox Films. Nine Tail Legion and Tony the Tiger. Sorry, got it. the joke's still good. I'm, well, depending on how many people want me to stop using the joke, and if he wants me to stop using the joke, I don't know. So we are going to quickly. I'm doing this one-handed, mind you. Rack the belt. There we go. And I am going to try and put the barrel inside here and. 259. There we go. And just 
269. One more for good measure. And 273. 273. Now, last night I ran, the, I did a little chronograph test, and it was rating about 290 to 280. So it, variation fluxes, it really does. But, question. How far will this shoot? Let's go outside and find out. All right, so here we are. The first five shots I'm doing are point twos, and the next five shots are point threes. Now we are roughly beyond 200 feet. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say probably 250, maybe 260, give or take. And we're gonna hit the broadside of a barn. Now we are at a four to five foot drop give or take. I think this is about three foot high, but I'm not sure. All we're trying to do is we're trying to hit the broad side of the barn. That was a branch. Let's get a little bit more out of the clearing. And that was too much hop. So we're going to normalize the hop. Shot number three. Went over the barn. Shot number four. It went behind the barn. That is beyond. Oh, wow. That's insane. Okay, so. Put a little bit of hop on there. Shot number five. And that was a little better. It actually hit the barn. Now we're, used, now we're at point threes. That was the barn. Barn again. Barn again. That was the barn again. So, yeah. With the point threes, you're going to be hitting about roughly around 200, maybe 240, give or take. Now, if you use point twos, you are gonna be getting beyond 200 feet. Now, if you really wanna optimize this gun, I would recommend that you use point two fives to two eights. That is your best optimization you're gonna get out of this. Point threes are just way too heavy, but even then, it, I am at a four to three foot high, uh, plus my height, so that's roughly five foot off the ground. And gravity at play, that's a fun one. So best option out of this is going to be about 0.25 grams or 0.28. And yeah. Now, I do not own this gun. This was sent to me by a good fan, by a viewer. And if you guys want your guns modified or spring shimmed at a cheaper price than what he was, uh, well, than what they were going to charge him, I will greatly uh, do it. Also, shipping is included with the price, so uh, if you guys want your guns worked on, contact me uh, via my Facebook in the link down below, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time. Uh, I know, I know, I shouldn't be doing this, but post, post thing. Um, to the viewer who sent this gun, let me cover up your name and all, let me cover up that. Here's what you can do. There's a lot of hollow space here, as you can see. What you can do is take something like this, or at least a, uh, a screw, nut, what have you, I don't care. Basically, you take something like, uh, let me see if I have them still. And the cat is ripping into that, I don't like that. Ah, something like this. Take something like this. Cat? No. No. Take something like this and just screw it into the side of the gun. That way you have a two-point sling system right there. That way you can actually uh, do like what Novrich does. <sighs> but anyway, this is really the end of the video. I promise you, it's uh, this is actually the end of the video. Uh, bye.